Introducing Douchebag Dunks for Kids. Now you can dress your kid up like a douche. Nah, I'm just... <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? I'm in Marshalls right now. and um, Oh, don't want to go that way. Going towards the ladies. Uh, you know, bra and panty, whatever. Um, how you guys doing? I know I look ridiculous right now. Saw these things. I dropped my phone, and I thought they were hilarious. Ugh. Oh, ah. hey internet, what's up? Um, how's it going? I'm gonna try to make this whole video in one cut or one shot or whatever, just because I don't want to do much work. Cause I'm on vacation, okay? I should probably look at the lens. Ah, and you're probably wondering why you want a crappy iPhone camera, right? Well, you know what? Cause I'm on vacation, okay? Okay, maybe I'm just at my dad's house, but still. Stuff and things. Um, basically, I'm not going to be talking about anything except for what happened yesterday at Apple's keynote. So if you despise Apple or just don't care about Apple whatsoever, just click away right now. It doesn't even matter to you. I'm not going to cover anything from E3 because, no, I don't care about Microsoft. Uh, actually, you know, that's pretty cool stuff. So basically, I'm here to talk to you about uh, what's going on with the new i... The, uh, okay, I was about to say iPhone, but no! Looks like Steve Jobs is not letting the new iPhone come out anytime soon, huh? Yeah, they didn't meant, uh, in case it's like the only reason you want to know anything about what happened at the keynote. No, Apple didn't say anything about the iPhone 5 because I don't know, but I really want to get my hands on one because I love this iPhone. I love the iPhone 4. It's nice and all, but ah, uh, I want an iPhone. Anyway, let's just go to the key features of the things they talk about. Basically, the uh, things they talked about were um, a new operating system for the iPhone, iPod, iPad you know, iOS, um, the new iCloud, <gasps> the cloud in the sky, and um, a new operating system for Macs, which is uh, Mac OS X Lion, which is some pretty cool stuff. Um, but basically, we are going to start out with uh, Lion, because you know, it's the biggest operating system body ball. Basically, the first thing is, um, oh, at the keynote, they pointed out 10 key features. That might be what I'm uh, covering right now. I'm not sure. Um, First of all, they talked about multi-touch gestures. Oh my gosh, you can touch it with your fingers and get what you want. Okay, yeah, everybody knows blah, blah, blah. Apple's good with that kind of stuff. Uh, full screen apps, cool. You can, uh, you know, edit your photos in full screen. It looks nice. Mission control, a new way to organize your windows. It's basically just a mix of expose and, paint and uh, spaces. Blah. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. Just skip over what I'm saying. Mac App Store, it's not really changing at all. They're just saying it's new. Woo. Launchpad, uh, basically, it turns your Mac screen into, uh, I guess, the springboard on the uh, on the iPhone. It just makes it look like this. Woo! Yay! Um, resume. When you shut off your computer, you can have an option to when you turn it back on. It looks just the way it did when you like the way you did when you you know turn it off. All the same windows open. Woo! Yay! Uh, auto save and versions. Okay, whoop de doo. It's just a, a new way of saving your stuff if you use iWork, which is like three of the people in the world. Nobody uses iWork. Um, AirDrop, sending files to people on your Wi Fi. Woo, we could already do that. Oh, now it's just got a cool name, AirDrop. Mail, looks different. Whoop de doo. Lion Server, I don't, I don't run a business. I'm sorry. All right, that's, that's all. And in case you guys are wondering, yes, I am scrolling through the Apple page as I'm telling you these things, but I watched the whole two hour keynote. I know what I'm talking about, okay? Okay, I don't, whatever. It doesn't matter. Anyway, just listen to me. Gosh, iOS 5, the thing that's actually the most exciting for me, iOS 5. Um, major things that have to do with that are PC free. This is the, basically the biggest thing that they have to uh, roll out. Uh, basically, it means you don't need a computer anymore to have an iPhone or an iPad or an iPod Touch. You can just uh, have the device, you know, when iOS 5 comes out. Also, is awesome with uh, PC Freeze, you can just sync over Wi Fi. Yay! I don't have to plug in just. Ah! Oh crap, that's probably bad. I was charging or importing. I don't know. Something. Anyway, PC Free is cool. Um, New Safari, you can have tabs, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's all kinds of cool stuff. Photos. Uh, they put a lot of stuff into photos, put some photo editing features into it. Mm. Camera is really cool. Uh, they added, I don't know, they add, ooh, oh yeah, they added some big stuff with the camera. They added, you can, uh, you can take pictures with the volume up button now. 
that's like the biggest thing they had to rule out. Volume up button capture, which is amazing. I, it's, you know, because it's really hard. Every time I, I hand my phone to somebody, they're like, hey, take a picture of me. And they're like, oh, what do I do? And they push the home button. No, you don't push the home button. That closes on the camera app. What are you, crazy? <sighs> or maybe I'm crazy, okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's really cool because it helps people, yay! Um, and also, uh, double tapping the home key so you can go straight into taking a photo. Like, boom, straight into the photo app. So, you know, you don't miss that special moment anymore. Whatever. Uh, notification center, pretty cool crap. Uh, basically, you slide your finger down the screen. It shows you all the things that you uh, need to catch up on because you're procrastinating. Uh, iMessage. It is um, just basically a texting service between iDevices. And, um, hey, Dad, what's up? Hello, Ray. You can't, they can't see you, or whoever's gonna watch the video. Anyway, um, iMessage is basically a texting service between iDevices. It's, um, yeah, this is my dad. He's a comedian, by the way. Pay attention to him. There you go. They can't see you. Look at that. This guy over here. Oh, he makes a living off of being what I try to be, which is funny. Yeah. <laughs> actually get paid for it. Yeah, he gets paid actually for it. Get I get, uh, nothing. Money from it. He does nothing. This guy does nothing. Hey, whatever. <laughs> Uh, iMessage, like I said, texting service between iDevices. It's not text because it doesn't go through a carrier, but it's free and it's cool. And now I don't have to tell my dad to get texting because he never gets texting like I tell him to. I don't text. Yeah, whatever. Newsstand. Uh, Did you happen to notice the face when I went up to the camera? It's old. Yeah. I don't text. Yeah, old. Whatever. Right. Get out of here, man. All right. Newsstand. Basically, you can have all your magazine and newspaper subscriptions right on one cool-looking, clean little shelf. Yeah, whatever. Reminders. Uh, basically, virtual list. Basically, you know, what, we don't need this. There's like a thousand apps on the App Store to do exactly what Apple just did. But whatever. It's cool. Twitter integration. Basically, you sign up for Twitter once. It's on all of your apps. And the question I'm asking is, why didn't they do Facebook integration? I use Facebook way more than I use Twitter. Ah! Ah, I hurt my wrist. Mm. Anyway, um, that is pretty much all they uh, had to talk about uh, with the new iOS. I know I'm wasting your time right now, but hopefully it's kind of entertaining. No, it's not. I've been wasting seven minutes of your life. Okay. Okay. Um, the the last thing they have to offer is iCloud. Ha ha ha. It's basically um, yeah. It's just iCloud. It's this magical cloud in the sky that stores everything. And here's the gist of it. You do something on here, and it ends up on your iMac. And you do something on here, it ends up on your iPad, or your iPod Touch, or it just goes everything instantaneously. For it, for it, you know, for example, can't talk today. For example, take a picture, boom, all three devices. Another example, add a song on here, or an app, or a book, or a calendar event, or something else, boom! On all three devices, or five or six, how many devices do you have? I think you can have up to like ten at a time. I don't know. Um, yeah, like ten devices. All right. So that's all. Yeah, uh, that's pretty much all you gotta look forward to with Apple because they're not releasing the iPhone five. Sorry. What's up, Steve Jobs? I love you. I love you, but you test me sometimes. All right, Steve. Ah. Okay, viewers. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's been uh, great talking at you. Uh, even if blah, 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 blah. even if there's like only three of you left, uh, probably because nobody out there cares about Apple. You kidding me? Everybody cares about Apple. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. My name is Ray Dolcelli, and uh, you just watched me for like I guess by the time I edit it, this will be like eight minutes. So thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. And um, you guys want to see? <laughs> this is what's been lighting me the whole time. This lamp, pretty nice lamp though, huh? Uh, if you guys would like to see more about this, if you don't know where the Apple website is, it's down below for me right now. Um, that's that's actually where Apple lives, down below me. Uh, anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If I haven't told you that, I've probably told you like three times by now. I'll see you guys next Tuesday, okay? I'll see you! I promise! Whose idea was this? This, this really, from, from where I am, this looks like a poop stain on the, on the shirt. Sorry I'm hating on Polo so much, but ah!